get something solid that you've pulled before, even stuff that you've won a gold medal before, the next year you're stepping it up and you say, I'm gonna do this, this time for my first run, and then step it up from there. Coming down the rolling right now, Colton Satterfield, look at that! Yes! Speaking of stepping it up, the ball spin to double tail up. That's his dream run. That was the run. Him. That was the run he was talking about. So much for what we were talking about. All right, Sebastian Keat rolling in for his second run here. Oh, uh, I think Sebastian's going for some kind of no footed trick. Yeah, just boosting some big air. This is a new event for Sebastian Keat. Well, it's just testament to how hard the BMX big air ramp is to tackle. As we get into Colton Satterfield here. What? What just happened? It looked like a decade 360 flip. Oh, that's an extra dream run. Look at this. I can see the replay. Colton Satterfield. Fourth, 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 fourth from what was arguably could have been a gold medal run. Typically, most quarter pipe tricks have all been done on vert first. Satterfield gonna unleash on us this fourth time around. Just that. Oh. I mean, he's had a big night out here as well. I meant that sarcastically because uh, that's pretty insane. We're down to our final three riders, which means there's only two left here that could bump Zach Warden out of that top spot. Zach's our last guy to ride. You're looking at the shot right now of Morgan Wade. Morgan Wade always knows how to rise to the cage, and he's starting on the opposite side. So he'll drift over from the left takeoff to the right side of the landing. Much like you do on foot, to try to generate more speed. Some guys want this gap to be even longer now. Big backflip over the gap, and then the quarter pipe. Boosting. 23. 23 feet, 3 inches. <laughs> that, just, one, guys. That, that just reset the, if that's the, <laughs> that just broke the record again. Yes, it did. We're in the fourth and final round here. One more time around for our only Brazilian BMX competitor. This is Douglas Leche. Another big backflip. See if he lands with good speed. This is going to be high. Look how fast he's going. Oh, oh, huge. Huge. 22 feet, 1 inch. That should be, we'll make it official here soon, but that would be the highest ever in X Games Big Air competition during the competition, and it's held by a Brazilian in Brazil. That would pop you out. Like, that could be a very, very, like, dangerous landing if you were to go up that thing sitting down. Four more riders to go. It's Steve McCann going for it. the double front flip. He did it. He's not sitting Let's out see. this contest. And a triple tail. It puts down an amazing run. Yeah, and I, I can't emphasize enough what a tough event this would be to judge because like it's a no-handed flip, Morgan's done enough of them, they know it's not the highest difficulty, but he did it perfect in the highest triple whip ever. And now here's Vince Byron. Oh, that didn't work out. So Vince not gonna be able to jump up and jump into the podium. So the best he could hope for here tonight is a fourth place finish. And Morgan's a rider's rider. I, I think many people out there root for him. All right, this is round number three for Vince Byron, currently sitting in second. Here it is again, Oppo, double downside whip three. And kind of an invert on the flare there. Casual invert. Changes up the lineup a little bit. We saw the big flare this time around throwing an invert into the mix. So Chad Kagey. Ready to bring it in here for round number two. A good push to go to next big air. Check this out. I know what he's going to go for. No, and it does. Oh! Wow. Just, he got an extra 90 on that and then laid it over. There's no way he was trying to know how to double back flip 180 to safety. <laughs> you don't think, do you, Kev? <laughs>